Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Student? And this tutorial, I'm sure you can easily use the inbuilt Photoshop adjustment layers to color grade your images better in Photoshop without having to pay a penny. So, if at all this is what you have always wanted, I request that you smash the like button on this video because it's going to help the video perform better on YouTube. So, simply subscribe and also like this video. So, you can see the before and after. So, this is the before and after before after and if i told love to support the channel for the content that i always draw for you guys you can support the channel by purchasing my digital products the link is going to be in the description of this very video so i'm just going to delete the color grading and we start from the very start and you understand how each of these tools is going to be affecting the skin tones of this very image right here so i'll just come and the very first adjustment i'm going to be using is selective color so i'll just come down here and I simply go to selective color. So when it comes to selective color, remember skin tones usually have reds, oranges, and some rather reds, yellows, and some magentas. And if at all you see the selective color, it also has reds, yellows, and magenta. So these are the three colors that are going to be affecting the skin tones in general. So I'll just I'll just first of all come to our reds. And in the reds, you can see that we have cyans, magentas, yellows, and blacks. So what I'm going to do, I feel like the image is more on the cold side. So depending on what you have at hand, you can simply first of all look at it. And you feel like the image is, as you can see, it is a little bit more on the cold side. So what I would love to do, in the red channel selected, I will just come to my yellows and simply warm up the image slightly just by adding yellows so cooling you simply cool down like that so just simply add in yellows and i'll add in more of the contrast to the red channel and you can see the image is getting to where i want it to be so i'll just come to the science and simply add a tiny bit of this so depending on what you want you can add either this kind of reddish kind of look the skin tone or you can add a greenish feel to the image so i'm just going to add a little bit of the reddish kind of feel to the image after a negative three don't overdo this so just come to the yellows right here and under the yellows you can either let's just intensify the yellows in the image and also going to come and take up the blacks of the yellow channel just like that so you can see what this has just done before after before after but we are not yet done with this so after you have done this the next thing i'm going to do we are going to come down here and we're going to come to the black and white adjustment layer to add a tiny bit of contrast to the image so by creating a black and white adjustment layer we are going to come and change the blend mode to multiply and simply take down the opacity of this very image just around 10 10 looks okay so that's the before after before after so after you have ensured that you have done this and if i told you you're comfortable with this you can stop right here but let me show you how more tools are going to be affecting this very image so after i have done this we're going to come to our color balance tool so just going to come right here to color balance and within the color balance, you can either add a given color to the mid-tones, highlights, and the shadows. So for this case, I would love to add some color to the mid-tones. So I'm just going to add a little bit of reds to my mid-tones, just around three. And I'm just make sure I preserve luminosity is checked right here. Then you can even add a little bit of greens, just a tiny bit. One is okay. Then I'm going to come to my shadows and also cool down my shadows slightly to around one. And you can play around with these sliders to see what works best for you. So I'm just going to leave it at negative one. Then after doing this, I'm going to add one more final adjustment layer to this very image. And that is going to be the gradient map. And you're going to be using the inbuilt Photoshop gradient map filter known as sapiantic and that is going to be located under photographic toning so initially for all the versions of photoshop that was visible 
but if at all you have updated your photoshop that is going to be hidden under the legacy gradient and you may not easily find it so you can easily find the photographic tool or option within photoshop simply come to window and make sure to check the gradients option so make sure the gradients option has been checked right here so you select it and you can see it opens up the gradient tool within photoshop and after doing that you can come right here to this hamburg icon and simply you select the gradient icon so with that done it means you're going to be able to find the gradients within the gradient map tool or adjustment layer within photoshop so i'm just going to come down here and simply select gradient map so when i select gradient map i'm just going to single click on this color right here so you left click on that color and when you scroll down you can see legacy gradients i'm just going to open that and simply choose my photographic toning and i'll look for a warm kind of color that works for my skin tone so you can use any other color if at all if you're interested in a golden look you can choose maybe gold one and simply click ok and now come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to soft light but that is going to be too much so you can come to opacity and simply drop down or reduce the opacity to the one of your liking so at around eight eight looks okay it looks great so this is the before using this gradient map and this is the after but when you add this kind of warm filter it is going to also affect the blacks of the image so in order to correct that we're going to come down here and you're simply going to come back to selective color remember we want to correct the yellow cast or the orange cast that has been applied over the black areas or the shadow areas so we're going to come and simply select blacks so remember since we are eliminating yellows from the blacks the opposite of yellow is going to be blue so by taking this up it is going to be adding more of the yellows to the black area and the opposite of yellow is going to be blue so you have to also always put this into consideration so the opposite of yellow is blue so by eliminating the yellows from the image we have to move this slider towards the blue side so don't overdo this because it is going to be looking a little bit odd or awkward so just do a tiny bit until when you feel like the blacks in the image are really black like you wanted them to be so turn negative two that looks okay it looks great so what i'm going to do i'm just going to first of all group this by selecting all the layers so you click you left click on the topmost layer and you press shift and click on the lowermost layer and you can press ctrl g on the keyboard or you can simply drag and drop them into the folder icon to put them in a group so you can see this is the before and this is the after before after before and after so when you feel like it is slightly changing or making a, a change regarding the makeup or lipstick this is what you have to do you come and create a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask icon and that is going to create a white layer mask so what you have to do come and get come to the brushes and get the brush tool and make sure the harness is zero and soft round brush has been selected with the opacity and the flat hundred percent we have to switch these colors to black so make sure you have black on top or you can reset by left clicking on the small boxes right here to have black and red if at all you have any other color displaying here and now you can use x on the keyboard to toggle between black and white or you can even use this arrow key so after doing that and if at all you want to eliminate the color grading from an area remember the color grading is still showing because white is the layer mask that we have remember in photoshop white reveals and black hides so just want to hide the color grading from affecting the lips of the model by painting using a black brush on a white mask so the black paint is going to be hiding the color grading so i'm just going to zoom in and by using the bracket keys you can decrease or increase on the size of your brush tool so i'm just going to paint only and only on the lips to reveal the original lipstick color and you can see this is going to be revealed and you can do the same for the eyeshadow if at all 
the model has eyeshadow. So this is what we have as our final result. So this is a before, after, before, after. And if at all you feel like you have gone overboard with the color grading, you can come to the opacity and reduce it to your liking and you play around with the opacity slider or option. So that's the before, after, before, after. So this is how you can easily color grade using the inbuilt Photoshop adjustment layers or filters to get better and warmer skin tones for your images in Photoshop. So this is it for this tutorial. And if at all you have learned a thing or two, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.